Welcome back, everyone, to the Lone Star Classic. We are here with the FBO Round 1 Back 9 at the Met Center in Austin, Texas. Sponsored by Innova Champion Discs, Zydeco Development, Shepherd Events, Wendy and Ken out there, and Tito's Vodka coming in big for the, wi the women in the FPO division. Looking at the leaderboard, we have Deanne Carey, 3 through 10, Cynthia Ricciotti shooting hot, Lisa tracking right behind. She's been making some huge putts. We got you and Paige own right on their tracks, and we have all the other women close close by. So I'm excited to see how these last nine shake out for their lead card. Hole 10 is a par 3, 235 feet. The tee's in a pretty tricky spot, so the backhand's going to have to throw a pretty wide hyzer and get a skip left, but not too left because there is an OB creek on that left side. Or I don't know what that is, like a gully? A rock gully. Um, and that left side also, if you go out of bounds early and don't come back in, that's a pretty early out of bounds to contend with. Lisa thinking that the sidearm is the play. Ace running it, staying away from that OB, but she will be putting at the OB. And we've got a pretty significant headwind on this hole today, making this shot way harder over the left side. Safe, just barely. Oh, okay, yeah, that OB on that right side you're coming close to, but you'll have a putt for birdie. Paige opting for the backhand skip. That's got to sit. Ooh, I, yeah. That skips up and over that berm and out of bounds, unfortunately. Ellen also going with that sidearm. She opted for a gator, a very overstable mid-range. In position for birdie. I like that mid-range play because then you don't get that huge skip like you would with a driver. <laughs> I just put that up in the air. <laughs> Here, wind. Do something with us. Oh, come on. Oh. I loved she sounded she sounded like she was from Boston there. Oh come on. Oh come on. Lisa doing Lisa things. Not missing much today. She's like, what OB behind it? Circle percentage looking looking pretty hot. Paige trying to save her par. She's making par putts, so I'm thinking this one's going to go in. I guess I was there, but I didn't remember. <laughs> I was about to say, you already saw this. <laughs> I'm going to start making bets on stuff I already saw. It's <laughs> cheating. <laughs> Our putt. Ellen will be tapping out her par as we move on to hole 11. Hole 11, par 4, 500 feet. This requires a placement shot off the tee. You have OB on the left and OB on the right. And then the fairway tightens here, kind of chokes off. Um, where you're going to be throwing an approach shot, and there's a big OB area on the right side that is in range for everyone off the tee. So players are going to play a placement shot, trying not to go too far, and keep it in bound to throw a couple hundred feet on the approach. Ooh! That looked a little high, and she caught some trees, but she is in bounds, I believe. Thank oh, my bad. I didn't even see it. Got a headwind here as well, so I'm throwing a shock over stable on. on a hyzer, just trying to get it inbounds. <laughs> yeah, that looks like good position. Paige probably looking to throw that hyzer. She's going big distance. That's her Zeus. Oh, she's going left side. All right. Oh, and she doesn't like it. That looks like it's going into the OB hazard. Well, it's not a hazard, actually. There are some hazard holes out here, but it is a just regular OB. What's the wind like right now? You guys have a headwind? Headwind. Okay. 
very heady. The wind got worse and worse throughout this round. So Ellen's flex even flexed it a little bit over that left side. That's going to be close to the hazard, but she's safe. It's not the hazard. It's out of bounds. It's not a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I thought it was a hazard most of the time I was practicing it. Lisa trying to pump herself up with her halo turn. She's got a lot left on this. Probably yeah. at least 275. Go in. Go she's, in. She's calling for it. <laughs> Lisa a little short, but that's uh, right in her range today. You can see that wind is just running through my hair. It is, uh, that's a pyro trying to fight the wind. It's a really overstable mid. It's looking like a great shot to give you a look for birdie. Ellen's got to make a decision. Does she want to go over the out of bounds early or does she want to try to take more of the fairway shot? Ooh. Tough. So unfortunately it doesn't really cross the inbounds area. So she's only going to get a little, a few feet before her next lie. Paige taking her out of bounds lie and pitching it up pin high, but a little 20 footer. Ellen with that gator. So this is her, that's her fourth looking to save the bogey here. Yep, nice, nice up shot. And putting into a headwind again. Not making the adjustment. Starting to wonder if I should be spin putting these headwinds. Lisa. Lisa and Lisa range for her birdie, taking her to five down. So even that errant shot off the tee that stayed in bounds, she was able to get that birdie. So this is a lot of, lot of pressure on these second shots and putting. Paige saving the par. Solid putt from Paige. Ooh, that was a little high. <laughs> and I'm tapping in a par as well. And just a reminder, the drone camera is brought to you brought to you by the discbarn.com has a wide variety of discraft and dismania but a great selection of over 14 brands pictures of every disc are on the discbarn.com hole 12 is a par 4 431 feet you're going to pitch it out to the left side um, on either a backhand hyzer or a sidearm and then you're going to throw it up to this island green it's got ob everywhere and it actually does play as a hazard. So if you do throw it into the hazard area, you're just going to take it from where it lies and throw the shot with a stroke. Lisa throwing over the hazard the entire way. And then she sneaks in bounds in a good position. your shock right yeah so overstable airway just trying to get it in bounds a couple hundred feet away kind of chop this hole up into two sections 220 220 will get you to the pin Paige with her raptor also throwing the hyzer pitch to the fairway just to barely oh my gosh Y'all making me nervous. But actually, even though she does go over the out of bounds the entire way because it's a hazard area, she does get to just take it up where it is with the stroke rather than having to play it from all the way back at the tee shot area like would traditional OB would play. Ellen throwing a solid forehand shot. Now this crane is really tricky. You got a really skippy road on the left. It's slightly sloped from left to right. Definitely place to the backhand approach and skip it up the hill to those rocks. But Ellen comes a little Ooh, short. Hot dog. That's, man, I, thought I, it <laughs> I don't know, did she hit the hazard? I, don't, I think she might have made it past the hazard. 
but she was really close. Oh, get down. Drop. Higher. Uh, <laughs> I'm making fun of myself for throwing it too high. <laughs> Neat. It really is a backhander approach, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Paige throwing her putter. Right at the pin. That's um, perfect. That's a beautiful shot from Paige. She'll be taking a birdie. Lisa, the, the course pro out here. Also throwing the backhand, but doesn't get quite the ground play she's looking for. No, it looks like she was trying to do that skip you talked to, talked about, but it, that hill just didn't let it. Don't have a much of a look. It's really high compared to the, where the elevation that I'm actually at at that moment, and there's like a low tree. It's kind of a pitch, pitch up at that point. And Ellen's putt's pretty dangerous as well. Well... Not that one, yeah, but weird. any kind of hit on the basket that doesn't stick is going to roll down that hill and possibly be, be where Lisa is, who she is in bounds, but the elevation is drastic from back there. She'll be tapping in her par. This one plays as one of the more difficult holes on the course. In fact, these next, the last one, this one, and the next three in a row are playing, play pretty difficult to get the birdies. So we'll see some score separation. Jerky making me hungry. Have you tried it yet, Kona? I have. I like the teriyaki. Oh, yeah. I like the garlic. Hole 13, 260 feet down a tight tunnel. Throw it straight. Finish straight. Get the birdie. Pretty straightforward, but not easy to do. Paige looking like she's grabbing one of her fierces. Got a favorable kick to the center of the fairway. I think Lisa has a stingray. Pretty, a very neutral mid-range. Mm, similar mistake, just kind of trying to throw it on the hyzer, but throwing it a little flat, it's turning. At least it got a bad kick. Mm -hmm. Going with a reactor. This is my favorite mid. It goes further than any mid I've ever thrown. Oof. And it's pretty straight, even though there's a little bit of fade there. It's kind of down a hill at the end of that green. You got through all the trees. You'll have a look for your birdie. Oh, I wondered. Yeah, Ellen going with the sidearm, too. I wonder if it's a sidearm hole. I'm a little biased, so I can't really tell. <laughs> Also giving herself a look. You guys will be in similar positions. That was her rock three. Mm. 
Okay, he just needs to get this up there and close. Or just or throw, throw it in. in. <laughs> Jinx. <Gotcha. laughs> hey, she did it once already. <laughs> Ooh. Doesn't look like she had much, but she did something. I mean, forehand roller, she looks like she's maybe right outside or on the edge of the circle for her par putt. Ooh. It's pretty far, but Lisa makes these. Oh, that was so close. Just a bit low. Just nubbed. like I'm putting over my watermelon bag. Good thing I got a push butt. Nice birdie. <laughs> yeah, that one felt good. like to get that little hole, even though it is seems really easy to get. It's a little tricky. A little slow-mo. Yeah, it's a solid putt. Now Ellen trying to match the birdie. Yeah, yeah. She has like this like little nose up. Kinda Frisbee kind like, of throw. Yeah. Cut. Like it's, it's spinny. Mm -hmm. Paid to save her par. Oh. Looks like you guys have some wind. Yeah, and it's gusty. It's weird that there's even wind in this area because it's pretty wooded. But I see you testing it in the background. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. All right, it's so confusing. You, you and Ellen <laughs> taking the birdie. We got Dean Carey still in first place. Four down with Stephanie Vincent now. Own Scoggins as well. Lisa, you're right behind them. And then we got some names below. You guys are keeping it close. Yeah, very scorable course for a variety of skill sets. So it's who's going to execute. On to hole 14. 563 feet. This takes a very technical, I think, backhand up the gut with a little bit of fade left, but straight is also good. And your second shot is also uphill a little bit and is another backhand getting a skip onto the green. I'm going to try to throw a sidearm, and uh, it's a technical shot, there's a headwind, um, which did all of that at the end of the flight, leaving me in a really bad position on the left side. Ellen, uh, deciding that it's not a sidearm hole. <laughs> She threw her sidewinder, very neutral flying fairway disc. Smart play. Page power, you get to throw a mid. Also love this play. And it's like you want to get it far, but not so far that you're going to pinch yourself off with the other set of trees. So it's a, just a very tricky, tricky tee shot. Placement, yes. But the hole is, you know, 563 slightly uphill, so you gotta chunk, you gotta bite off quite a few big chunks in order to actually get a birdie look. Lisa kind of throwing it into the ground with her halo turn. All right, Lisa, hyping it up. Let's go. Giving it everything she got. Nice turn on it. That's hyzering right when it needs to. Even her with a long look. <laughs> I'm in no man's land over here. Trying to throw a roller. Yeah, kind of on the same line that uh, Lisa just threw. What are you using? That's a shock. Didn't put enough Annie on it, however. And now I'm right behind a whole bunch of trees. Ew. Mm. Ellen's in a really good position. Gonna throw that same disc. It's a bit of turn. Oh, hello, wind. Wow. Getting an air bounce and outside the circle. But, you know, maybe she'll throw in a long one.
Page going raptor trying to attack the pin. It's a late tree, but she's still at circle's edge for her birdie. You got a tricky little upshot. Yeah, this is not fun to throw. I mean, I guess it is kind of fun to throw. Just not when it matters. <laughs> In practice, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Long look from Lisa. Yeah, she didn't like it. Kind of always tell that when their players are a little off balance on their release. Ellen for birdie. Nice look. Nice run though. This one is very difficult hole to get. But maybe we'll see Paige cash in this birdie putt. There it is. She got it. Solid, confident putt. And that takes her to three down. To save my par. Mm. Ellen cashing in for her par. So also with a par putt. And now we turn around and we will start heading back towards the rest of the course. This is kind of the furthest one out. The property that this course on is, is huge. There's tons of land and tons of opportunities to put more courses on this land. Beautiful course. Yeah, totally. Um, hole 15, par four, 491 feet, requires a hyzer backhand off the tee. You sometimes over the water, but you might want to play the fairway, and then you approach this plateaued green with some trees on the left and OB on the right. We have a ripping tailwind. It's moving a little bit right to left. This is one of Paige's Zeus's. The tailwind is dropping it a little bit, but she gets it way up there. Past the turn. Ellen throwing that destroyer with some reliable fade to it. Not really messing with the OB at all. She, I think she kind of sawed that off just a little bit. She doesn't really want to be on that berm, but she is safe and she still has a look to get up and down for birdie. Lisa just throwing it out there flat, letting the turn do its thing. And that's great position. She's got that flat ground. I'm trying to harness my inner Lisa right now. Throwing a vanish. Yep, textbook Kaiser. And she's using a forehand to attack this green. Interesting. Yeah, that it's it's got to get left if you want to throw that forehand and it oh oh it almost kicked back in. You can get a re up. Oh. So I had also went with the forehand. The wind was really tricky for the backhand. I thought it was going to push it into the woods. So I threw the sidearm at the woods and was hoping it would just settle. Yeah, better correction. I I wonder if it helped that I saw her do that just now. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen. Lisa opting for the backhand upshot. Getting it nice and wide. And it settles. Paige with not much left on the bone after her massive tee shot. I want to put her, scooting it up there. Just a tiny little putt. Ellen will have some work to do. Weird stance. Mm. 
She's just chaining out left today. I, although the mm. wind looks really crazy on this hole for you guys. And that was a little fall. I don't know that I saw that before. Oh, no. That was too short of a putt to miss. That wind is ripping, though. Birdie for Lisa. Played it perfect. Heiser, Heiser. You're tapping in your easy birdie. I wouldn't call it easy, but I was you made it look easy to get it. Mm -hmm. You made it look easy. <laughs> We're just trying to get over to that Tito's tent. To the right of this basket, there's a huge tent where the uh, tournament directors provided beverages and food and fun for the competitors after her round, after our rounds. Um, hole 16, par three, 255 foot island hole. Plays as a hazard though, so if you don't quite make the island, you play from where it is with a stroke. Lisa with her halo turn again. She throws this thing a lot. And it's just so pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. Putting it up wide, looking for that wind to push it to the push it to the green. It does, leaving her. Pretty long putt, but very, le very leasable and Lisa makeable. I'm also throwing a pyro here. We've got quite, quite a bit of wind, and the pyro doesn't care what the wind does. Page with a mid. Oh wow! Pretty high. She definitely didn't like it out of the hand, but ended up just fine. I love those shots where you throw them and you're like, oh, and then it's like, oh, that was actually good. I feel like I do that too often. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ellen's FL, pretty overstable. She wanted a little more turn on that, leaving her a long look, probably just a pitch up. And she's got a headwind here. Oh. Just oh. tried to spin it. Wow, that was like a that was like an ultimate move. I wonder, I don't I didn't know that she had a background in ultimate. I don't know. I think Lisa's got a tailwind here. Well, don't matter what she's got. It's in the basket. Can't miss today. It's it's amazing watching it. Yeah, I wanted her to come putt this one for me. All right, get it up, Sarah. Nope. <laughs> I'm about over my putt right oh. now on these headwinds. <laughs> I feel that. Page for birdie. Oh, that just looked a little rushed. It did look rushed. Maybe the wind she wanted to put quick. She does not, doesn't quite have it down right now. She'll find it. Oh, the ebbs and flows of putting. Tapping out some pars as we move to hole 17. All right, we're here on hole 17. Just two more to go. Looking at the discbarn.com drone cam. This one is a par four, 534 feet. Right about here is where you want to throw for your landing zone, either a lefty, or either a side arm up the left side or a big hyzer over the right. And then the fairway pinches a little bit and there's some trees on the right to navigate through. And the OB, the green has OB on the left, back, and the right of it. This is very Lynx golf. The placement is really important, especially on these last two holes. Lisa going over the right side. Challenging that OB a little bit, but she'll be fine from there and have another hyzer. We have a tailwind on this shot at the moment. So pretty favorable for diselection. I'm throwing a photon, which is overstable, 11 speed. It looks like great position. I am happy with that spot. Paige with her Zeus. Gonna go big. 
She's going wide over the out of bounds area. Tailwind <gasps> drops it short. So she'll probably take it from far back, right? Yeah, she went almost immediately out of bounds. Maybe, I think she went up like maybe 40, 50 feet. Yeah, you can see from the T. She's maybe up 60 feet. Ellen taking that same forehand route as you. Ooh, barely missing it, that tree. It really does play to a sidearm off the T. I think that's the most open part of the fairway. But there's other lines I like. This course has a lot of that variety where there is maybe a preferred line, but you can find another line if you have a different preference. Paige trying to get it to turn. That's a good spot. Where she would have liked to be off the tee, but she will be have the, have the opportunity to get uh, up and down for her par. Ellen with a beautiful forehand. Park job. Lisa's got to punch it through that gap outside of those trees and not hit them. Because that will punch her back in, and she didn't <laughs> scoots through them all wow. to the front side for a look at Birdie. She'll have a tricky putt, but she is inside the circle. I'm throwing a shock here, looking for a big fade to the right at the end. Oh, and this looks juicy. Whew. That's close enough. <laughs> Paige throwing her, actually her fourth, her fierce that she threw in earlier today. Scoodles down the berm just a bit, but she's in bounds. Lisa. Pop for birdie. Oh! Just a bit low. I don't think, you know how she uses her back leg a lot for like her power. I just feel like she couldn't get that. Oh, that makes sense. Paige with a big putt to save her bogey. I'm pretty sure I have another headwind here. Get in there. Okay. Whew. No biggie. Great birdie on this hole. And Ellen as well. With a nice birdie look. Must be a forehand hole. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Going in the last hole, Lisa and I are kind of up at that minus area. Lisa's got a minus six. I'm at minus four. We are battling it out here on hole 18, par four, 503 feet. This plays as a double hazard, as an island green. that your First island you just wanted to hit at that right where you just saw, and then you're going to throw another shot onto this island green that is all delineated by red flags. There's OB on, so there's hazard zones on the left and the right. Throwing from the out of bounds onto the inbounds area. It's only about 275, 280 to the end of this OB. So you'll have to kind of play a strategic shot. Both you and Ellen opting for the overstable forehand shot. And the wind is ripping. He's busting out that halo. That needs to sit. You're all looking like and you're in some good positions for your second shot. Paige clubbing down to a mid. He's looking to put it in the middle. But she throws it straight. And she is in the hazard zone. So she will play it from where she is. And approach the green, which is, again, another hazard zone. She's trying to get onto that island that is probably about 50 feet in diameter. The only tree she had to miss. So now a double hazard to finish out her round. Ellen with her gator. Got a little bit of a skip, but she'll have a putt for her birdie. 
Lisa is that firebird. She uses that, uses that a lot for approach shots. Gets a straight skip up that elevation. But she's a little off. She's a little bit uh, off to the side. So she'll have a putt to finish out her birdie look. Throwing a reactor. Looking for it to settle. I'm tired of headwind putts. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a great way to end your round, too. So Paige, a big putt from the hazard zone. Just a bit low. And Lisa for birdie. She's been making these all day. What do you think she makes it? Come on. You have to choose. Oh! <laughs> I totally thought she made it. <laughs> I thought she was going to, too, and I watched her miss it. <laughs> she just steps up there like, I'm going to make like this. It's going, it's in, going the in. Ellen also with her floaty ultimate putt. Not so floaty. Hopefully round two, she'll make a lot more of those putts. I know she's really good at putting, so today might have just been an off day. Yeah, I really think the wind really played a factor in the missed putts today. And Paige will not be happy to finish her round at even with that double bogey. Lisa coming in with the hot score at minus six. I'm happy to finish out my round at five. Well, what do you think, Kona? Are, are you 